breaking news alert from 24 Hour News 8. We are continuing to follow breaking news tonight that we first told you about at 11. Fred Meyer has died. West Michigan grocery pioneer and philanthropist had a stroke this morning. He was 91 years old. 24 Hour News 8's Brian Sterling takes a look back at Meyer's life. He turned the family business into a West Michigan retail giant and used his wealth to help the community. Frederick Meyer was born in Greenville in 1919. When Fred was eight years old, he started working with his father, Hendrick, selling milk and trading horses. In 1934, Fred turned 14, and his father opened Meyer's Grocery Store in Greenville. Fred credits his father with teaching him about business and about pleasing the customer. I have a very close relationship with my father. He was a marvelous teacher, and he was just a great father in so many ways. Two years later, Meyer's Grocery Store was renamed the Thrift Market, setting the tone for Meyer Thrifty Acres years later. While Hendrick was teaching his son the finer points of the grocery business, he was also teaching consumers about getting the most for their dollar. Hendrick used local newspapers to advertise store sales, like a box of cornflakes for 11 cents. 1946 was an important year in Fred's life. It's the year he married sweetheart and Meyer store clerk, Lena Rader. Fred admits that at first he was reluctant to date someone from work. Thank you. We come from totally different backgrounds. But, uh, you know, we worked together in the store for four or five years before we started going together. I didn't believe in going with anybody that, uh, that uh, worked in the store. You know, it just causes problems if you don't break up or this. Uh, and so I never did. But I thought, you know, she's a pretty good lady. And so the first time I asked her out, I said, I'm going to marry her. I didn't tell her that. <laughs> so she could back out. 1946 was also a challenging year for Fred and his family when the original thrift market burned down. The family had $10,000 of insurance on what it would cost $100,000 to rebuild. But rebuild they did. And they never stopped building. Today, Meyer Incorporated has more than 190 stores and more than 170 gas stations operating in Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, and Kentucky. As Hendrick grew older, Fred took over more and more of the business, never forgetting the lessons his father taught him. My dad used to say, a man, a man, a word, a word. You give your word, you do it. Period. And, and uh, you don't, shouldn't need a contract. We need a contract to spell out the details. But basically, keep your word. Both Fred and Lena proved as good as their word, giving back to the community that helped make them prosperous. Both are avid supporters of the arts and have dedicated themselves to playing an active role in promoting cultural and not-for-profit works in West Michigan. One of the biggest things Meyer will be remembered for is the Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. The $15 million facility opened in 1995 and keeps expanding. It's a dream that developed. I mean, we started out with these sculptures, and then the garden people wanted a botanical garden. And then we gave them this acreage. We've got two unique things. We've got a wonderful setting, and I couldn't be more pleased. In 2004, the Fred and Lena Heart Center opened adjacent to Spectrum Hospital in downtown Grand Rapids. As the project's single largest donor, Fred Meyer spoke at the dedication. Well, when you think about it, all the things we do, so many of them are for future generations, whether we like it or not. And uh, that's, we get the benefit of the past generations, and new generations get the benefit of what we do. Four years later, the Lemon Holton Cancer Center opened. Fred and Lena were there on hand, major donors for the project, which is named for two former Meyer employees. Fred Meyer was a dynamic man from simple roots who stressed one thing above all else, family. And just hours from now, we invite you to join us for a special edition of Daybreak as we remember Fred Meyer. Daybreak starts at 6 a.m. We now rejoin regular programming.